Hello and welcome to Monday of Active Aging Week where our theme is physical wellness. This devotion was written by Pastor Bob Corey of Bounders Ridge. Seniors who determine to see projects they begin through to a final completion can gain a great deal of satisfaction that a finished project rewards them with. But what happens if you have no plans to finish your life well or something happens to frustrate your plans to finish well? Please hold that thought. We'll talk about that in a minute. Have you ever thought about or have you ever considered your life as a project of sorts? A project that God has given you a certain number of days to work through and complete. Listen to what the writer of Psalm has to say on the subject of how many days God has given us on earth. And in your book, they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when yet there were none of them. From Psalm 139, verse 16. God has also given each of us very specific and useful natural and spiritual gifts to make a difference in this world. The big question for most seniors is how to navigate finishing well when age begins to place restrictions on them. If you're like most of us, you probably have been so busy living your life you haven't taken much time, if any, to think about how you might finish your life well. Did you know that God has an interest in each of us finishing our lives well? Listen to what the Apostle James has to say about finishing well. Blessed is the man or woman who remains steadfast under trial, for when they have stood the test, they will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. James 1, verses 12. Here are some thoughts you might consider when it comes to finishing your life well. Think of your life as a tool in God's hands that he wants to use right up to the moment you enter heaven. In other words, don't be tempted to so-called retire from God. Purpose to worship with those of like faith in person or virtually as long as God gives you the strength and ability. Cultivate relationships with other believers and keep those relationships in regular repair. And finally, make it your practice to have a regular devotional life, even if others need to help you accomplish it.